For the third time in his career, Justin Timberlake is headed to the Super Bowl. The singer announced on Sunday that he'll be the headlining act for the Super Bowl 52 halftime show. Timberlake made the announcement by recruiting Jimmy Fallon for a video that JT tweeted out to his nearly 63 million followers on Twitter. The singer had been trying to work out a deal with the NFL to do the halftime show since at least late September. Timberlake has basically become a Super Bowl halftime regular. The 36-year-old singer made his Super Bowl debut back in January 2001 when he performed with NSYNC at Super Bowl 35 pet game The Ravens won 347 over the Giants. You may not remember that one, but you probably remember his second performance at the big game. Timberlake's second trip to the Super Bowl came in February 2004. At halftime of the Patriots' 3,229 win over the Panthers, Timberlake exposed Janet Jackson's nipple to the world in what will likely go down as the most infamous wardrobe malfunction in human history. With this year's Super Bowl, Timberlake will be hoping that he can surpass the huge numbers put up during halftime of Super Bowl 51. Last year's show, which featured Lady Gaga, was the most-watched musical event of all time, reaching more than 150 million across all multimedia platforms. According to Variety, Timberlake is looking to release a new album in 2018, which might be part of the reason why he agreed to the gig. The third appearance at the Super Bowl will make Timberlake the entertainer with the most halftime appearances in NFL history. According to ACUNFL.com, Timberlake joins recent halftime artists like Lady Gaga, Coldplay, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Bruno Mars, Madonna, The Who, Bruce Springsteen, The E Street Band, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Prince, The Rolling Stones, Paul McCartney and U2. The 10-time Grammy winner will take the stage at halftime of Super Bowl 52. The show will take place on February 4 from Minneapolis and air on NBC.